There are tons of AI image generators out there, and it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Today, I'm going to help you find your best AI image generator. I've used Midjourney a lot since I started creating with AI, and it's fantastic. But with all the new advancements, there may be a better, cheaper, or faster option. But how can I find out? Enter Artificial Analysis. This tool lets you compare AI image generators without feeling like you're reading a research paper. But Artificial Analysis isn't just going to tell you the best AI image generator out there. Your votes are going to help choose the best. Let me show you. Artificial Analysis has both a website and a Hugging Face page. It tracks many of the important AI image generators, including Midjourney version 6 and version 6.1, OpenAI's Dolly 3, as well as the older Dolly 2, Adobe Fire 5 3, and tons of stable diffusion models. If you don't see your favorite AI image generator listed, it might be because it's based on one of the open source stable diffusion models. Artificial analysis compares things like image generation time with Stable Diffusion 1.0 Fireworks as the fastest and Midjourney version 6.1 as the slowest. It also looks at price, with Playground version 3 being the cheapest and Midjourney the most expensive. But what about image quality? AI has come a long way and it's hard to judge quality head to head. Or is it? Let's jump into the arena. Here you're going to see a prompt and two images from randomly selected AI image generators. Your task is to pick the one that best matches the prompt. Sometimes the choice is obvious. One image might be almost flawless while the other is full of AI artifacts. Other times, the choice is down to your preference. Both images look fine. These quick comparisons are powerful. It allows you to see the top AI image generators face off head to head, like Midjourney version 6.1 and Dolly 3. Or you can see state of the art models like Dolly 3 versus an older version, Dolly 2, and see how far the AI image generators have come. Let me take you through a few of my choices. Some will be very obvious. Others, you and I might disagree. What artificial analysis gives you is a prompt. And then it asks you which image best reflects this prompt. So in this case, the image, the prompt is nightlife in a Martian city with neon lights. So it's going to give me two images, one on the left and the one on the right. Now, if I take a look at these images, the one on the left is not very well developed. It's very basic. It doesn't really speak Martian to me. Uh, it may not even speak neon to me. But the one on the right, while not perfect, does at least sort of hint at Martian and does sort of hint at neon lights. So between these two images, I'm going to choose the one on the right. I prefer that one. Now I can use the arrow key or I can just click on it. I want you to watch. It will tell you which AI image generator created both of these images. The one labeled in green is going to be the one I chose. The one labeled in red is the one that I did not choose. So I chose Ideogram versus Dolly 2. Let's do another one. A neoclassical museum building with large pil pillars and steps leading up to the entrance. Now both of these are okay, but I find that the image on the left seems a little more three-dimensional, a little more realistic, at least to my eye. So I'm going to choose the one on the left. So again, watch very carefully. Generator model in green is the one I chose. 
That is Ideogram versus Recraft version three. Now this one here, you may prefer one and I might prefer the other one. One is a little bit more realistic. One is a little more illustrative and that's perfectly fine. Both of these look like a parka design. I'm going to choose the more realistic one. I prefer the Staple Diffusion one over Firefly. A lunar base under a starry sky. Well, the one on the left is, has the starry sky, but it again is more illustrative, where the one on the right is a little bit more uh, photorealistic. I'm preferring the photorealism, so I'm going to choose the one on the right, but you might just as easily prefer the one on the left. And that was Flux Pro. So I'm going to go through a few of these. Oh, this one's tough. This is a texture rather than an image. So this one's a logo. This is an infographic. Which infographic do I prefer? Both of them have problems. Neither one is perfect. There's not a, really a skip button. So I'm going to choose the least bad option. Now you'll see here, both of these again have some image issues. Uh, the image on the left here, there are some hands, mostly okay, but there are some issues with the details. Uh, but the image on the right, there's more. Uh, the hands are actually a little bit better, but their faces have some problems. So I'm going to prefer the one on the left. And that was an ideogram. So you see, I'm looking for artifacts, but I'm also looking for which one best represents the style. In this case, it's a photograph. I think the one on the um, left looks a little more photographic. And that was Playground version three. Now you'll notice that some of these are illustrations. They actually ask for an illustration. Some of these ask for a photograph. Some of these ask for an infographic. One is not necessarily better than another. Commuters on a crowded morning train, in anime style. The image on the right, again, is more detailed with less um, AI artifacts. The image on the left, you'll notice that the faces are degraded probably an early model of something. The image on the right, while it's a bit odd that there'd be uh, two violins here, there's a lot more detail and there's a lot more detail in the face. And that was Dolly 3 versus Dolly 2. So it's not surprising that Dolly 3 beats Dolly 2. It is an improvement. And the best part is this tool is absolutely free. You don't have to waste time and money putting each of the AI image generators through tests. Artificial analysis does it for you. You don't have to make an account. You don't have to pay for the images. You don't have to systematically run any prompts. And you can even submit your favorite prompts to artificial analysis. And if they pick it up, your own prompts can be part of the test. Artificial analysis doesn't just track performance. It also gives you insights into style, like which AI excels at photorealism versus fantasy art. And your choices matter. They tell artificial analysis which AI image generator is delivering the best results. But don't just click through the images, choosing your preferences. Along the way, you're going to spot new prompt ideas colors, art styles, and keywords that will make your images pop. Stop and really look at these prompts for inspiration. Every choice is recorded. But before we reveal the top AI image generator, let's check out your personal leaderboard to see which AI image generator you preferred. Each AI image generator has its own style, 
and it's a great way to see which style truly suits you. I wanted to know if Midjourney still matched my style. And it turned out there may be other AI image generators that I should explore. Midjourney often got beat. It looks like I'm choosing images by other AI image generators. But what is the top AI image generator right now? This isn't my opinion. This is based on nearly 50,000 blind head-to-head -head comparisons by people like you. Can you guess which AI image generator came out on top? Drop your pick into the comments below. And the winner is Recraft AI. Surprised? Probably. This generator may be new, but it's a huge hit. So hop on over to Artificial Analysis and rate some images. While you're there, you can also rate text to video AI generators and AI speech. Share the best prompts you found in the comments below. If this video helped you discover new prompts and find your best AI image generator, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I love this tool and I'd love to hear if you have other favorite AI tools. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's create something amazing together. <music>